So I've had a lot of people asking me how to get waves with straight hair. And I just felt like making a video because I'm sick of explaining it to people through text. But this video is going to go over the process of doing it, what you need to do it. And honestly, just a little motivation for those people who think they can't really, you know, get to that point. So, some of the things you're going to need is two different brushes, probably medium or hard. This is a hard one, but the reason for that is if you take a shower and you constantly using one brush, that one brush is, is eventually going to get soft with all that water in it. So, you're going to use one for the shower and one for just everyday, daily type brushing sessions. Something else you're going to need, if your hair eventually starts to get long in the wolf, depending on, you know, whatever length you at, you're probably going to need a comb. And I suggest one with these little thinner teeth in it just to really get in there. For straight hair people, Curl Enhancing Smoothie, you can go pick this up at Walmart, but this shit, this shit saves lives, for real. Like, our hair don't, y'all know, it don't, it don't curl up like that, so all you do is get a little finger scoop, put it in your hand, mix it up, put it in your hair, but I'm gonna get into that later. A mirror for when you're trying to get 360s. You trying to get that back part, you gotta brush around the crown. Cause if not, you gonna get a real messed up pattern. You're not gonna get the connections right. And that's also what the comb is for. And after the brush brush sessions, you don't need a do-rag, really. Kinda just help you save all that progress you putting in work and you don't want it to go away. So yeah, I'm about to get into, you know what you need to do before you go to sleep and when you wake up. So, before you go to sleep, everybody showers, right? So, when you get out the shower, what I usually do, I brush until my hair is dry. And usually that probably takes like 30, like probably like 30 to 35 minutes. But you brush till it's dry and then you comb for 15 minutes. And it kind of just makes your hair get into like somewhat an afro, but not really. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And um, after that, I get Curly Hanson Smoothie. I get one finger scoop. I put that in the palm of my hand, I rub it in, and I'll go around the crown in all directions, and after that, I'll brush it in, comb it, and put on the do-rag. When I wake up in the mornings, Usually, I just go straight to the restroom, do what I got to do. Usually, I avoid wetting my hair just because when straight hair people that want waves wet their hair, their hair automatically becomes straight. And then you have to go through the process of brushing and combing before your day starts. So, you can wear your rag in the shower and avoid getting that, you know, getting your hair wet basically you can buy you can either stay with your do-rag or really go buy a shower cap I'm not gonna do that but I'll just wash my face wash my neck my body hop out the shower you know get dressed do whatever I gotta do come back to the restroom later take off the do-rag brush for probably like 15 20 minutes with the the mirror and then comb it out and, and rag back up. And then later, you know, if you want to take it off because you're going somewhere or, or whatever, you comb and you're straight. <clears throat> the best hair 
haircut to get for a straight hair waiver is probably to start off a five against the grain so you can get your hair leveled with a taper and a clean lineup, whatever you depend on doing. But that is the staple of like where you need to start off. And if you're not brushing, you have a do-rag on. And if you don't have a do-rag on, you're brushing. Like, you really can't give up. You, you know, if you really want waves, you're going to be 24-7 brushing, combing, and just, like, trying to get to the point you want to get to. After you get your hair cut, it's best to wolf. When I first cut my hair, I wolf for a good three months, brushing, combing, before I knew I had waves. And once you know you have waves, the lowest you can go down to is a four with the grain closed. Just so you don't lose any progress. And then even when you cut that, you still have to brush. Like the best time to brush is after a haircut or when your hair is wet. Because it's going to be easier to move around. It's easier to just train. And that's all you need to know for this video um if y'all have any questions go follow me at paggy waggy and yeah you know just stay tuned i'm gonna show y'all how to wash y'all's hair i'm gonna show y'all progress videos probably do you know uh vlogs or probably just future people on the you know the channel or videos or whatever so yeah y'all just stay tuned and and just keep brushing, really.